Hey there folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the DC Universe Classics Cyclotron action figure. This is figure number 3 from Wave 13, which contains the Trigon Collect and Connect figure for the Wave. I have to admit that I did not follow the superpowers, uh, either the toys or the uh, comic. Uh, I'm not sure if there was a TV show on this or not. Uh, in either case, uh, I'm not familiar with uh, Cyclotron, and uh, when I first saw the images of this figure in, uh, I think it was Toy Fair magazine, uh, he uh, was my least uh, wanted figure out of the entire wave. And uh, he did uh, become the last figure I picked up from Wave 13. But uh, before I picked him up, I actually saw a video of this figure uh, by Gearhawk, uh, hang loose there. And uh, after I saw that video, um, my mind quickly changed uh, uh, with this figure. Uh, this uh, guy became my least uh, wanted figure to my most wanted figure. <laughs> uh, after seeing that video, I don't know why I didn't see it before, but uh, this guy is a perfect addition to my Oddball Legion. It's just, he's all sorts of cool in an odd sort of way. And uh, <laughs> I picked this guy up at a Kmart uh, for, uh, I believe it was twelve ninety nine. And And uh, taking a look at the figure here in the package, you can see he's got an interesting costume. That's for sure. Uh, and uh, it's got a color scheme of blue and yellow there. Uh, this uh, figure comes with the collector button here uh, to celebrate the 75th anniversary of DC Comics. And he does not come with a collect and connect part for Trigon. He comes with a uh, base stand, uh, superpowers uh, display base there. So, taking a look at the back of the package here. It's a pretty interesting uh, setup there. Uh, we have a uh, biography of uh, Cyclotron there. And some statistics down here. And uh, we also have other figures from Wave 13. We have Negative Man, Superboy, Cyclotron, Blue Beetle, Cheetah, Blue Devil, and Donna Troy. The uh, variants in this wave uh, are uh, Negative Man. Uh, he comes with a different uh, head there. And uh, Cheetah. This one here is the classic Cheetah, and they also have a modern Cheetah. Actually, there's two variants for the cheetah. Uh, one is uh, in her tracksuit and one uh, uh, that's nicknamed the Naked Cheetah, uh, cheetah because she, uh, she's just wearing her fur I guess. And then we have a picture here of Trigon. Let's go ahead and uh, open this guy out of the package and we'll be right back. Alright, uh, we have Cyclotron out of the package. Uh, let's go ahead and go over the items that come with the figure. First up we have here is the uh, collector button. I'm not sure um, what comic that's from. Uh, maybe it might be the Superpower comic on there. Looks like you have most of the Justice League there. Pretty interesting button. And uh, the standard uh, DC 75th anniversary uh, logo on the back there. Next up, uh, we have here the display base uh, with the Superpowers uh, logo on there. It's actually a nice design. I, I like it. And it, this uh, base has uh, one peg on there we can place the uh, foot of the figure on. It's pretty neat. Like I said, that's a very nice design. Really, really cool. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Cyclotron here. Like I said, uh, when I first saw this uh, guy, I was really not interested in, in him until I actually saw an in-depth uh, video by uh, Gerhawk. And this guy is so uber cool. Um, and uh, this uh, figure is actually uh, almost 100% uh, new mold. Uh, there's just very little that is reused. Uh, the only parts that are reused I can see here are the uh, shoulders and biceps, the hands, and the uh, 
the upper thigh and lower torso but everything else is a new mold yeah the head the torso here you got this uh belt here and i guess a groin cover the forearm is new uh the uh, lower lower leg here is new even the feet is new uh it's just a uh, very nice figure and uh, I like the sculpt, uh, the unique sculpt uh, that they uh, created for this uh, figure. You can see that this is an, a, a new torso mold by because they don't even have the uh, standard uh, cape hole <laughs> in there. They usually have that little hole for a cape and if the figure does not have a cape they just plug it in with, uh, with something but you, you can, you, there is no cover on this. This is an entirely uh, new mold for the chest that's very neat <laughs> it's got an interesting boot design that's for sure <laughs> I don't know if that's for kicking on there and also here's the uh, new uh, forearm there it's very neat this is a uh, sculpted into the arm there and you got the the new head on here and uh, let's take a look at the foot design there very very neat I really like this design I'm not sure why I didn't like it before I may, it's maybe it was just pictures I just at first glance and it was not really interesting uh, but actually taking a look uh, at the figure it's very <laughs> very cool in an odd way so but uh, I want to show you uh, what uh, changed my mind uh, when I saw Gerhawk's video on this guy and uh, let me just uh, give you a little history on this guy. Uh, basically, Superman uh, created Cyclotron uh, as, um, I guess, what is it? He, he uh, programmed Cyclotron with complete knowledge of the strengths and weaknesses of every hero and villain. So I guess this makes uh, Cyclotron a wannabe Amazo. I don't know if he was used for training. I guess he was uh, used for training. I don't know. Uh, but what's really cool is that uh, his chest and uh, face here are actually removable uh, because Cyclotron is basically a robot uh, like Amazo uh, and uh, you basically remove this chest piece here uh, you can use the this red thing here I'm not sure what that is and just uh, uh, put your fingernails underneath and just pop it open and you reveal his robotic internals which is very very cool and this is made of a thin plastic here this chest piece and there's a tab at the top where you can and you, there's a tab hole there where you can fit it in if you want to put the chest piece back in on there and also his uh, face is removable uh, the sides of the helmet here are softer so you uh, you can bend that back to make it easier to remove the face on there and uh, yeah, here's more details on the goggles I guess in the face on the back side there and uh, that is <laughs> super neat I did not know that uh, these two pieces could be removed to reveal the inside uh, until I saw that uh, video from Gerhawk <laughs> Thank you, Gerhawk. <laughs> but that is so uber cool. I really love that and like the designs on there. And I don't know if the uh, original Super Powers figure was designed the same way. It, it probably was. Uh, but I, like I said, I was not familiar with Super Powers, so I didn't know that uh, his face and chest were removable. So I think that's really, really, really neat. And uh, this guy is going to be definite member of my oddball legion so it's just very very neat oh and by the way um some more of the details uh it's uh, it's not picking up in the video it's the uh the flesh uh, on the arm here um is not like the older dcuc uh figures this one has a little bit of a wash very slight wash uh, on here so it adds uh, more flesh like color to the to the figure on there it's not just a single uh, piece of plastic on there so but uh, I think that's kind of neat uh, on there and uh, as I mentioned earlier this uh, belt like thing and loincloth thing is glued uh, at the uh, waist here 
and this is made of a uh, thick rubber here I'm not sure why you would need a covering he's a robot but oh, oh well <laughs> so but uh, going over the articulation of this guy the head goes all the way around and um, just goes up and down very uh, slightly it, it's actually kind of loose almost like a bobblehead type of thing and you really can't uh, move the head uh, back because of the back of the helmet there the arms uh, do go all the way around they do go out and in the uh, arms rotate at the bicep they bend at the elbow and rotate at the wrist the torso uh, barely goes down up and back uh, I think it's because of this uh, new design on the on the torso here this uh, mid uh, belt line thing in the bob here uh, he does uh, go all the way around at the waist and uh, by the way uh, the biography mentions that a uh, he could uh, rotate his torso to deliver a powerful uh, twister punch and I'm wondering if that was a toy gimmick in the original cyclotron so <laughs> he probably had some action gimmick where he rotated and I guess uh, did some punching or something on there I don't know I'm that's what I'm guessing I'll have to do some research uh, later on to find out uh, but continuing on with the articulation uh, the legs go up, down, and back, and out to the side uh, for the standard hip uh, articulation for DC Universe Classics. Uh, the leg uh, rotates at the thigh, uh, bends at a single joint at the knee, and uh, bends at a single joint at the foot on there. No uh, ankle pivot on this uh, figure. Overall, this is a figure I initially did not want, but became my most wanted figure out of the entire wave. And I'm glad I actually got him, even though uh, he was the last one uh, from Wave 13 I picked up. Uh, but uh, he, he's my favorite out of uh, Wave 13, for sure. Uh, and I, de I definitely recommend uh, this guy, I mean, if not for the odd nature of this uh, figure. Uh, but uh, this is my casual peek into the DC Universe Classic Cyclotron. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.